Hey, two weeks, it's your girl Red coming to you with a video. This is day one of my bedroom makeover. We are having a few hiccups. <laughs> I guess it's going. I don't know how well. But anyway, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, leave a comment. So now we are working on my dresser. That is the first step. We are doing the peel and stick wallpaper on my dresser. And that will be on the top, the bottom, and the sides. The drawers will have something different. Um, I'm waiting on my knobs to come in that are ordered from Amazon. They will have the big diamond 30 millimeter, millimeter knobs on them. And they will have glitter, the bling wrap around the drawers, as well as the dresser. The mirror will be done as well. Um, so stay tuned for the final look of that. Well, hey guys, I have my paper all over the dresser already. So now I'm going to use the bling wrap that I got from Walmart. And it's just bling on the roll. Or you can get this from the Dollar Tree or Amazon or whatever. And it says easily cut to size. And so I got this one. And I'm just going to put this on the trimming of the dresser around it. So, um, yeah. So I would do this while, film it while I'm doing it, but... I'll be stopping and going and probably stopping and going and I don't know for this process I'm gonna just kind of try to get it started and go and then I might show you guys the rest of it so let me uh, go ahead and get this done and to put this on some people have been using um, E6000s but I picked this clear Gorilla Glue up and it says bonds to everything so for me uh no foam easy to use i use this for everything and i mean pretty much everything for all kind of paper projects craft projects everything so this is what i like to use or they have the e6000s or the the off brand e6000s at the dollar tree so you can use either one so i'm gonna use this um because i want it to stay and hold probably uh, until I get ready to change it to something different, but I'm gonna use this so yeah, so we're gonna see how this all goes and um, then I'll Be doing the drawers y'all I had hell trying to get these because this is like Ashley furniture the good furniture and it's hell because there's no screw in the back like in the back of these there's no there's like one screw and the one screw on um, back of this holds this panel to this it doesn't hold the um the handle okay so it's taking me a while to get the handles off because <laughs> my boyfriend kind of gave up on me and said fuck it i put the paper on i'm done with you so because <laughs> we argued through everything because i'm kind of bossy okay so i said look i'll finish this myself so the, we're gonna do this and i'm gonna get the bling done around it and i'll show you that part okay so this is how far i've gotten so far i did the bling strip down the side of it and down the front i haven't completed the whole front and one of these on my dresser everybody would have to measure their own but on my dresser one of these packs of bling wrap fits the whole around the whole front and around the whole side of my dresser and this is how long don't pay no attention to the clothes on the inside i haven't done all that yet but around the whole top of my dresser as a whole roll of this one wrap from walmart so um and this is 62 inches which is three yards so and this was like a three dollars and something so i would recommend this 
And, um, yeah. So, and, um, this paper is really slick. So, I did have to, when I used this Gorilla Glue, I did have to put a, just a little bit of hot glue here and there in order for it to, you know, just to get it started on the edges and to dab here and there so it wouldn't slide because the Gorilla Glue, you know, it takes a while for it to dry. So, in order for it to stay and not slide, I had to um put some uh hot glue on it okay so you may have to do that with this paper just like on the edges and uh i'll show you around so that's what it looks like with that so very pretty so it's probably going to take me about two or three days to get everything completed because not only am I doing the dresser, I'm doing my nightstand and also I have to do all the drawers and everything and wait for my diamond um, knobs to come in and also um, in the process of that I'll be cleaning out my drawers as well so you know that's a whole nother process so that's why I said I wasn't going to record me doing everything because I'm doing mine in spurts. And I also, my mirror is right there. So I have a huge mirror and my cousins are going to help me with that. So she'll be doing probably most of it. So it'll be a process. So, so far it's looking good and I love it. So um, I got her want to <laughs> redo hers. So I love it already. And right here, where you can see that I could have pulled it down more, but I'm gonna hide it. Um, I'm gonna stick. I think I'm gonna, I was gonna spray paint these silver, but I like this iridescent color. And I think I'm gonna stick these big ones on the ends of those. Cause, see, that would be very pretty like stuck on the ends um so i'll see how it looks in that color if i don't like it in this color i'll spray paint it silver so we'll see how that goes so um i'm gonna get the rest of that completed the rest of the bling wrap done and um maybe it's like seven something at night almost eight so probably start on get at least two two drawers done tonight or at least cut the squares and stuff out for them hopefully so let's get this started okay guys it is 11 at night and this is how far I've gotten I've gotten most of the dresser done already pretty much except it is going to take me quite a while to do these drawers because um at first i wasn't gonna put um wallpaper on the dresser i hope y'all can hear me because this tv is loud let me turn it down <laughs> i have stuff everywhere so um i wasn't gonna put wallpaper on the drawer but I thought it would look better as the background to do it this way and to do bling wrap around the glitter um, the uh, what do you call it the foam glitter sheets see like on this side and then put the mirror in the middle which I've already glued this side down and this is the first drawer <laughs> that I've just now completed because I've stopped and ate and all that. And so I don't have no help. I'm doing this, the rest of all this by myself. And I'm so tired right now. Like, extremely tired. So it's going to take me a while to get all this done. Um, so it's Thursday. 
I have other things to do tomorrow and Saturday. So, uh, I would have liked to start this maybe at the beginning of the week. And they are that way I probably would have completed this in a week. But, um, it's quite a project. When you take on something like this, you have to be really prepared. Um, I knew that it was going to be a job and I knew that I was going to be doing it by myself. Um, all he really did was cut the paper, which I could have done myself, and stuck the top piece on and the sides. And I did the rest of that and, and stuff. And he did the very bottom piece because it has the grooves in it. And um, so I did the rest of everything myself, and I'll be doing the rest of everything uh, myself. So um yeah so uh yeah and working with gorilla glue on this kind of paper it sticks but y'all know just like e6000s you have to wait for everything to dry and it takes like 24 hours for things to dry and i'm getting i kind of impatient so and even the glue gun on some of this paper slides and doesn't stick very well so it's like a process and that's the problem I'm having is <clears throat> gluing everything down and having to hold it until it kind of like mm, kind of adheres a little bit to the paper so because the paper is so slick and that liquid nail stuff is pretty good but it is so hard to get out and it's not with a caulk gun it's in the tube kind so it's so hard to squeeze out i mean this stuff is extremely hard to get out of this tube so i don't know i'm having to squeeze it is tedious so I put some of that as well as the uh, Gorilla Glue on the back of the mirror to make sure that it's set in there. And when I get the knobs, I'm going to, the the diamond knobs, I'm going to sit one in the middle of the glass. I could put one in, just one in the middle of the drawer, but since my drawers are so long and they had two see my drawers have two pulls on them so I'm gonna do two instead of one because I don't think one since they'll be glued on instead of uh, screwed in I don't think one is gonna hold so um, I'm gonna uh, yeah glue two on instead of one so I'm gonna use the liquid nail and the uh, Gorilla Glue to put them on to make sure that they don't come off. So, <sighs> let me get back to work. So, this will be a two-part video. I intended to do um, the dresser in just one part and then do the nightstand in another part. And then I'm also doing other parts of my room. But everything is going to take so long. So, I think I'm just going to do it in spurts and then do, like, a completed room tour because it's going to take, like, so long for me to get everything done. And then it's going to be, like, a week before the knobs even come in. So, it's going to be a while. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of projects that I'm doing and I will do some DIYs because I'm going to do my lamp and some wall um, things and some other stuff. So it's going to be a lot of things, a lot of looks to go along with everything. So um, it's going to be a minute before everything gets done. So to take on something like this, you have to have complete patience. It's not just like doing a few DIYs here and there. This is like a complete re redo. So it takes patience. But um, yeah, so I'm going to try to get at least this drawer completed. I was going to try to get at least two or three drawers done tonight. But 
like I said, it's already like 11 something and I'm so tired. So, and I have to clean all this crap off my bed so I can try to find somewhere to sleep. So, and I haven't even begun to even clean out like my stuff. So, um, so yeah. And then I'm running out of the bling wrap anyways, so I'm going to have to, I have enough for not even one more full drawer, so, and this was like, um, I think one drawer took up the whole pack of the bling wrap from Walmart that went around the dresser so one drawer did that and it's because i had to cut it and it seems weird because only one pack went around there but it took one pack to do when i cut it yeah now i mean i might have had like a few pieces left over but so and to do all my drawers with the mirrors it took two mirrors I mean, two, 12 mirrors because I'm putting two mirrors on each drawer and I have six. So, yeah, because I have two small drawers at the top and I'm not putting mirrors on those. Those are just going to be, I'm going to just do the bling sheets on those. So, that will be that. So I have to wallpaper about three rolls of wallpaper. So uh, one more roll of wallpaper should do all, hopefully should do all um, six of the drawers because the ones with this on it won't have uh, any wallpaper on it. So, okay, you guys, so, um, and this will complete part one of my bedroom redo. Um, so, the next video that you will see, um, it will be part two, which will complete the whole dresser. I will have had the whole dresser completed <laughs> and will be have moved on to the nightstand before I do um, part two. So, bye guys.